Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to use the TIGWELD 200SX to weld up a carbon steel lampshade using some punched out material that I got from a friend at a machine shop. Okay, today we're going to make a lampshade using some 16 gauge cold rolled steel with some punch outs from a local friend uh, that has a machine shop uh, and they have a punch press that uh, they use to punch out washers and other round shapes and things like that. So these are left over from the uh, punches made on that machine. This flat surface of the table in combination with the magnets works as a real great pair to hold these pieces in 90 degree orientation as I go ahead and make the small tack welds on the web in between the individual holes. So it's important when we're working on something like this that's real thin and warps easily that we make our tack welds real small and real fast so that we don't put a lot of heat into the material. Having it on the surface of the table will also draw out some of the heat in the welded metal. So now as I start to add on the third and then eventually the fourth side, access to the weld becomes an issue. So make sure that when you're welding something like this that you make some planning ahead of time as to how you're going to reach into some of those difficult areas. Will you try to weld the center before you weld the outside edges? Or is it better to start from the ends and work towards the middle from each side? You'll have to take the best approach depending upon what the part or the shape looks like. But always think ahead and make sure that everything fits together and you get it tacked together real well before you make a bunch of final welds. So I've seen that many times that people, if they had tacked together the parts completely so that the geometry was uh, easy to get at, it'd make a lot better weldment in the end. When we're putting something together like this, you also want to make sure that the four sides are equal and square uh, and that all corners are 90 degrees. And so that's what's nice about having a flat surface on a table like this and having some of those magnets that hold the angle of the parts 90 degrees to each other. If you experience any kind of warpage or problems, you can take care of that without too much issue by just holding down the parts and keeping them flat and level on the table surface. So you can see as we move along here, access to the weld becomes a problem. And I go back along here and use some filler metal to increase the weld uh, and make them a little bit stronger. Uh, now that the whole unit's all tack welded together. So when I get done, I want to make sure that I check it and make sure that it looks good. So the machine had real crisp tack welds. Uh, the arc started off real quick and clean when I stepped on the foot control. Uh, you want a nice hot tack, but you can take your foot control off real quick and get off it. So I think my wife's going to like the part when I get done. And I'm going to get it in combination with my fallen leaf lamp support or lamp base here. And it should look real nice.